Hey guys, today we're going to take a quick look at the Banjo Kazooie Fun Book. Oh, yes, if you thought the games were fun, take a look at this. So, on the front, we have a render of uh, you know, Banjo and Kazooie in uh, some kind of forest. Stop and swap. Uh, we have some sort of, I don't know, Arctic mountain in the background behind Fun Book. I don't know why that's there. And, uh, yes, 16 pages of fun. Colouring in, quest, maze, puzzles, spot the difference, secret message, plus lots more. So, um, entering book, it's all in black and white. It's all printed on cheap paper. And, uh, yeah, so first off we have Banjo's Quest. And, uh, you need to find notes, eggs, feathers, honeycombs, and all the jigsaw pieces. Of which there are three, uh, throughout the book. To form the name of Banjo Kazooie Arch Enemy. Naturally, that should be uh, Banjo Kazooie's Arch Enemy, which doesn't actually make sense anyway because Banjo Kazooie, it's Ban Banjo and Kazooie. There's not one person. Anyway, so write your answer here. Naturally, Gruntilda. Wasn't that exciting? Here we have. Uh, so you can see some of the musical notes all around and the eggs and whatnot. So here we have a colouring in, a shot of uh, Kazooie carrying Banjo on her back. A very large and slightly odd looking Banjo, if you can tell on the camera. Uh, also, what's up with Kazooie's eyes there? Anyway, uh, then you had a word search. And uh, no, this is not like uh, the one in the games that you could unlock. Then we have Mumbo Jumbo, so you can colour in Mumbo. Uh, we have Bottles Tunnels, so you, it's a maze. Banjo Kazooie at that end, and Bottles at the other. I don't know why five of them need to find each other, but uh, I've got to say, if this is what it looks like under the ground, then I have a lot more respect for Bottles and his uh, you know, quickly getting from place to place. We uh, then we have another colouring in of Banjo Kazooie, again, freakishly large Banjo. Uh, then you uh, have an ad. Now, if you saw my previous video on a random Nintendo related book, you uh, would have seen this little special effects sticker book. Well, yes, they were all produced by the same company, and as far as I can tell, they're all exclusive to Australia. I don't know why we got so much crap in the late 90s related to N64 games and Game Boy games, but. Uh, yeah, so you can join the Moo Man Kids Club. You've got the official kit, a sticker book, poster, membership card, and membership certificate. And uh, quarterly newsletters, which included game information, tips and hints, and giveaways. Send $15 of check, by check, money order, or credit card to Moo Man Kids Club membership in Victoria. Uh, yes. I, uh, as you can see, never signed up to that. And for quite good reason. So yes, then we have uh, Pick the Pair, which two Mumbos are the same. We have um, a maze to help Banjo-Kazooie find uh, Tootie. Another word search. Let's spot the difference thing with Tootie. Um, I guess you can crack the codes to find out Gruntilda's secrets. Just uh, as a little note thing, I only did the mazes in this. Note that I didn't do anything else. <laughs> Even as a kid, this was rather disappointing. A puzzle of Gruntilda. And, uh... Squareware. Where do each of the squares belong on the picture of Banjo-Kazooie? Notice that they always call them Banjo-Kazooie. Like they are a single person. <laughs> it makes no sense. And then you have all the answers. And a render of Banjo and Kazooie, which looks pretty cool. Where Banjo is not freakishly large. And yeah, so, Moo Man, 1999. And again, just like the uh, sticker book, if I can zoom in on it, this is offici an official Nintendo licensed product. What were they thinking? So yeah, that's the Banjo-Kazooie fun book. It promises what it cannot deliver. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and see you later.